We just want to make sure that parents that are just listening and unsure, um, that they know that there is a difference there, that public school at home and, and, and homeschool, those are two different things. Not because, you know, we sit over here and think we're better, but because again, our intent is to put Christ as the center of everything we do. And the only way we can do that is if we take full responsibility, like Alex said, it's on us. Yvette had mentioned, you know, many, many parents listening to this are listening because their kids are coming home, whether they, they whether they wanted them to or not, because of what's going on with, you know, school shutdowns. And like she said, in California, and it's happening across the nation. Um, and I just want to touch really quick on there is an absolute difference between private, I mean, I'm sorry, public school at home, which is your kids coming home with the public school curriculum, which is this online thing that, that the schools are sending home with your kids and privately funded parent-led home-based education. Those are two different things that I think a lot of parents that are listening to you, um, if you're listening to Alex right now and this scares you and you are thinking, I don't want my kid going down this road. I had no idea this was the foundation of education in America. I had no idea this is what my kids were learning. Um, thank goodness they're getting sent home this fall and the teachers are going to be online with them. That is not the case. If you are doing public school at home, that same curriculum, that same agenda, is just coming into your house. You're just not sending your kids eight hours a day to get it. It's still in there. So what we really promote here at Schoolhouse Rocked is parent-led, um, home-based, privately funded education because with that, that is where we can work Christ into math, language, science, right. history. That is where we make Christ the center of everything we do. And that's not happening with public school at home. So we just want to make sure that parents that are just listening and unsure, um, that they know that there is a difference there, that public school at home and, and, and homeschool, those are two different things. Not because, you know, we sit over here and think we're better, but because again, our intent is to put Christ as the center of everything we do. And the only way we can do that is if we take full responsibility, like Alex said, it's on us. If we take full responsibility in doing that. So I just wanted to, yeah. to say that. And, you know, every state has a state homeschool organization mm -hmm. that promotes um, privately funded, home-based, parent-led education. They can help you. They can give you the laws. They can give you what you need. And that's what we promote here at Homeschool. I don't, I know that's what Alex is behind because yeah. again, the whole focus is Christ at the center of everything we do. Yeah, that's right. And I want to piggyback on that really quickly, Abby, too, because, um, Earlier, Alex, you were talking about, we were talking about phonics versus other methods of teaching reading. And you brought that all back to if, if our kids can't learn how to read, they can't read the word of God. And one of the things that we've seen firsthand in our family is our, our youngest daughter, she's nine years old right now. I didn't teach her how to read. Um, I mean, I didn't use any kind of a phonics curriculum or anything like I did with my older daughter. Um, she actually, the way she learned to really read and has gotten to be a really strong reader is we read the Bible together every single day as a family. And in the very beginning, and, and this is the word of God, there are a lot of hard words in there that I have to sound out, you know, <laughs> a lot harder than cat. Um, and, and so, you know, we've done it their whole lives. And a couple years ago, my husband said, okay, Lace, it's your time turn to start reading. And it would take her quite some time to get through a verse, but we would help her sound it out at, you know, the whole family, even sometimes our sister will jump in even still, and she will just sound out verses. Okay. What sound does that make? What sound does this make? And before we knew it, she was reading and she's reading the word of God. And we've said that so many times, if, if all we ever had to teach our kids, you know, someone commented on here and said, what phonics program do you use? Mm -hmm. If all we ever had was the word of God to teach our kids, God's word will teach them everything they need to know about science, Amen. about history, about grammar, about God's kingdom, about God's love for them, about everything. And, and this whole talk, you know, we titled the education, the key to saving our nation. There's only one key and that key is Jesus. Mm -hmm. God is the only thing that's going to save our nation. And we have, we're, we're raising up the next generation. We are raising adults and we have got to raise these kids up to know Jesus to mm -hmm. follow him no matter what the cost, because there's going to be a great cost. There already is a cost involved, but the cost is only going to get greater. And if they don't know their savior and they don't know what they believe and they can't defend their faith, they're going to be completely lost. Mm -hmm. And it's all that matters. We, you know, when they come face to face with their savior, who cares how well they did in math or <laughs> science or how well they could diagram a sentence, all he's going to care about is how much they've loved him. Mm -hmm. And, um, and so, you know, thank you for opening our eyes up to 
uh, the agenda behind the public schools. You know, as you said, Alex, you know, we love, we, Abby and I don't do this because we have so much extra time on our hands <laughs> um, up. and because, you know, we're making millions of dollars doing po- a, a homeschool podcast. Um, we do this because we love the, the children of our nation, children are heritage from the Lord. We talked about Amen. that um, earlier. They are a heritage from the Lord. They are a blessing to our nation. And so let's raise these kids up to know him, to serve him, to obey him, to know God's moral law and to follow his moral law. But if they don't know uh, how to read, <laughs> they're never going to know how to do that. Um, and if we're not teaching to that, teaching that to them and expecting the church to do it, um, well, we're going to be in for quite a surprise 